That is fresh. Welcome to Sweden. If you've been following along with our Scandinavian adventure for a little while now, you'll know we've just spent, I don't know, four or five weeks in Norway and we have had an amazing time. But Norway was hectic, so hiking, driving, mountains, fjords, kayaking, swimming, all kinds of things. Norway is fantastic. However, it is a lot. There is so much to see and do and it is extremely busy now. So we made the switch. We came into Sweden looking for a bit of tranquility and my God, have we found it with this park up. Are you out, dog tired, singing all night long? Who's gonna save you? Who's gonna make you? We found it on Park for Night and it's one of those that isn't confirmed yet. So there was no pictures, no reviews, no nothing. Just some a little bit of German writing, not a clue what was here. We had to come down like a two and a half kilometre single track. So it was a bit of a risk, but am I glad we did because this is exactly what we're looking for. Completely remote, we've got it completely to ourselves. We had a couple of people we've been here for. This is two nights, I think. This is our, no, today's our second day. So we got here yesterday. We had a few families fishing, which has been lovely to see, like the little kids and whatnot, and then a couple of blokes, when they finish work, they just come down with their rods straight out of the car, straight in, half an hour's fishing, and then they go. But apart from that, it's been ideal. We've got a fire pit, we've got a little cabin, we've got forest. There is one small issue, and that is the mosquitoes, so we are doing some serious mosquito dodging. But apart from that, you can't really ask more from a perfect van life park up than this. Been one or two since i ran into you do you need a picture well i get so honestly the minute you go into the forest they find you, they swarm out, and then they chase you. They're a nightmare. But anyway, this waterfall park up in Sweden, I can't remember what it's called. I'm sure I'll put something on the screen. Really, really cool park up. You can stay there overnight. I think it was 180 Swedish kroner, which is, I don't know, I'll put that on the screen now. But yeah, it had everything you need. So a hot shower, which is the main reason we went. And then obviously, yeah, the waterfall, which was really, really cool. And because you can stay there, this is what we like about parking up at cool places. It means you get it all to yourself, like first thing in the morning and again in the evening because during the day much like it was in Norway this thing was packed but yeah really 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 nice spot showers were in this like this little cabin had a little cafe where you could get yourself a cake which of course Emily participated in you're going to the shop aren't you what for what they got they got cake couldn't they they got Toblerone cake so I'm going for some of that yes yes I am take your keys take your keys I'm going to get some cake she goes spending all our monies Got your cake? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at ya. Total your own cake is honestly, I love it. It's good, right? Yeah, but your cat wants to go out, so we need to move. Yeah, we've got to go. Let's go. And because we had it all to ourselves, it meant that we could get some photos, which is something I've really not done very much of on this trip. And we got some really cool shots. So if you follow us on Instagram, you would have already seen that. And you probably would have already seen this place as well, because Instagram is about a week in front of our videos, I think. So yeah, guys, check us out on there. All right, firewood. <laughs> The sun's come out, it's got warm. 
which is good because I need to dry out all this firewood. I've had quite the productive morning chopping wood. We're going to have dinner up by the fire tonight. Very excited, the first time on the trip. I've got this hand chainsaw thing, which is really quite useful actually. It comes in a tiny little pouch. Emily's in there in a van shaped prison doing her work. She'll be free soon because it's coming up for lunchtime. But yeah, looking forward to dinner by the fire, chilling. <laughs> this saw as well for the smaller bits which is also proving quite useful uh, but as you I don't know if you can see but some of the wood is quite wet I assume Sweden's had the same two weeks of crappy rain or this part of Sweden that we've just had so I need to get all this wood dry for it to be able to light a fire but I don't know if you can see all the bugs I'm looking forward to it being lit later because it does keep the bugs away <sighs> honestly it's either been scorching hot freezing cold and windy or raining on this trip I think we've had two days where it's been Pleasant. There she is then, she's back in the game. Finish work? I'm never out of the game, Louise. I'm always in the game. Been grafting on all morning, haven't you? I have. I am such a grafter. One thing about this trip is you've been working a lot more than on any other trip, haven't you? Yeah, that's true. Um, I think because obviously the time of year that we've we've decided to come is our peak season. So yeah, work has been hectic and probably I've probably done more hours than what I would normally do anyway. So. But it's lunchtime, so she stepped away from her laptop long enough because obviously we all know. Food is the most important thing. Food or money? What do you put? What do you put first? Money, because then it buys my food. <laughs> so there you go. So we're going to have some lunch, and then are you done for the day? Yeah, done for the day. Done for the day, and then we can really enjoy this perfect, almost except for the mosquitoes and these weird fly things location that we're in. They are so weird. Uh, this one's actually been suffering the most. It's all right for us. We've got repellent, which does keep them at bay a little bit. But for AJ and Summer, when we took them out for a walk last night, they was literally swamped with them, weren't they? There was, yeah. And she's let a flock fly. I'm on the hunt. He won't settle. He's a fidget. I have to wait. <laughs> Emily doesn't like the bugs in the van, which is a huge problem when you're doing like this really remote van life. <laughs> it's, it's all fun and games, ain't it? She was having nightmares last night because when we went to bed, we was, the van was swarmed by what we're pretty sure are mosquitoes. Um, there was absolutely hundreds of them out there, weren't there? There were so many. It was like, oh, I was like, something out of a film. You can catch it. You got it. Cool. him. Hang on, let me see, let me see. Quick, because I don't want it, it's getting away. So Emily is like a fly ninja. I think I've mentioned this on the vlog before, but never been able to film it. She literally just catches them in your little, I reckon it's because you're on the same size scale. Oh, shut so up. they can move super fast because they're so small and they've got all them extra eyes, they can see things. I reckon Emily is on the same because she's as little. She just literally plucks them out of the air, don't you? I have to wait till they settle, it's not pluck. No, out sometimes it. I've seen you do that. <laughs> I'm just, you all over the place, mate. Emily's superpower. Right, is lunch ready? No, you've been chasing flies. <laughs> I've been chasing flies, yes. I wanna get high on you Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know So last night we were fortunate enough to pretty much have the place to ourselves but we've got company tonight, haven't we? Yes, we have. They've just arrived. Uh, which is fine, but when you're filming videos and you want to fly your drone and get the cameras out, these have got kids as well. It does make it that much more difficult, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's why we took a few days off when we was in the busy area so that we could kind of get away from that. And we came to this park up because it's only just gone on park for night, so I thought it'd be quiet, but... Um, <laughs> and I think I think it might be overrun with locals later. Understandably so, because it's oh, yeah. hot and you've got yeah. access to the water, but we'll film what we can, but in a minute, I'm going to take you right out there anyway, so it don't matter. Yeah, and I'm going to stay here. <laughs> and you chop more wood? Yeah, 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 I chop more wood. Somebody's going to chop some wood. <laughs> so this is our mosquito repellent of choice. What we got? Skin so soft. Does it work? Um, well, it's always worked when we've been to like Mexico and Cuba, but we've not tried it in in these countries. So let's let's hope so. Let's see if the Nordic mosquitoes, whoa, are a bit tougher. Sorry, I was being attacked. <laughs> let's see if they're a bit tougher than the uh, Caribbean mosquitoes. Yeah.
the exception of the odd fishing boat, the birds, and there's obviously some works going on way back there, which I don't know if you can hear that or not. This is probably the most peace I've had on this entire trip. I'm making my way to this little solitary island there. Whenever I see anything like that, I just have to go and know what's on it. There'll be nothing there, I should imagine. It's kind of pointless to anyone, but I thought I'd go and have a look. But I think I mentioned earlier, Emily is working loads, which is making, uh, making videos together quite difficult. So you'll notice the last few videos in particular, it's been just me waffling on a lot more, and that is because she is just so busy at work. She finishes at one, our time, and then she's back at four, so to give her time to unwind, because I don't want her to work that job and then do the YouTube constantly because it will ruin the trip for her so sorry sometimes it is just me and my waffle there's not much I can do about that at the minute I'm afraid Emily's job is very important to her and if I'm honest as much as I am loving Scandinavia we both are it is fantastic I don't think I'd come here again late mid to late July and into August because it is just busy which again is making making the videos really difficult and it's not about content for me for YouTube I would film stuff and photograph stuff without YouTube. I absolutely love it. A big part of the trip for me is the filming and whatnot, and I do genuinely get so much joy from it, but it is so difficult when there's kids around and other dogs and people, and it's, it's just tough. Like, they're on holiday too, so I don't want to be flying my drone over the top of their vans or worrying about if they're going to be worried if their kid's in my shot and then the noise from the... You know, it just makes it unpleasant for everybody, for me and them, so it is tough. So as much as I love Scandinavia, and I think for anyone that doesn't need solitude, it's a brilliant time of year to come. The weather isn't great, but then, you know, you're in the north. So, yeah, apologies again, a bit more waffle for you. But, oh, one more thing. Life jacket police. A lot of you have been on my case this time, saying I haven't got a life jacket. I have got a life jacket. Look, safely tucked down there so I don't lose it. Now, obviously, I know I need to be wearing a life jacket, and normally I do, but I haven't got any excuse. I've got no bullshit for you, I'm afraid. It's, it's there. It's there if I need it. Right, let's go and see what's on this island. So, two thirds of Sweden, if you don't know, is forest, and there are over 100,000 lakes. So, most, I think 80 odd percent of the population actually live in the bigger towns and cities. So, the rest of it, I mean, Sweden's huge, it's bigger than the UK. So, in theory, in theory, we should be able to find a few spots out of the way. And we have only literally been here for like two, two or three days or something like that. So, we might have just been a bit unlucky. Obviously the waterfall was a tourist spot and then the family with kids have turned up here. And they're a lovely family, don't get me wrong. But hopefully, as we go through Sweden over the next few weeks, we'll find some of that solitude we're looking for. And I've just had a thought, the moose, there's many moose in Sweden as well. If you don't know, we did look for them in Norway. The moose live in the forest, or they're fundamentally in the forest. And I can get to the edge of forests with my kayak. So the moose hunt, photography moose hunt, is most definitely on. So we've arrived at the island. I'll have a skirt around the edge. I don't think there's much there except for wildlife. And the water, I don't know if you can see, the water here is crystal clear. It is ridiculous. rather randomly look there looks to be what looks like a JCB bucket but it's not I think it's a makeshift barrel barbecue that someone's brought up here because this although there's absolutely nothing on it this particular spot here what a wild camping with the tent spot this would be and if I wasn't already within seconds of landing on this island getting hounded by mosquitoes I'd probably give it a go but back out in the water the water is the only place where we're safe from them I think ow, ow, ow. also the stone's very sharp So this is really random, and I don't know if you can see it, there's tree stumps underneath the water around this island. I can see about four or five just from here, so it looks like someone's deliberately come and cut them down, which is definitely interesting. <coughs> Flipping things. F off. Get out of 
my boat. It's flipping Nora. Okay, so trying to film them tree trunks. I accidentally beached myself on one, so I am going to put the life jacket on and paddle back rather quickly in case there's any damage to fund the clunges bottom, if that makes sense, yeah. And then light the fire, and hopefully it'll get rid of some of these bugs because they are starting to do my nutting. What's cooking good looking? Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> we have jacket potato, we have some mushrooms, we have vegetarian hot dogs, and we have some onions. We are cooking on the fire. What Big was that? Of, I, I don't know. Oh, fire dance. Fire dance. Okay. <laughs> what about your hot dog dance? Um, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggly dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggly dog. Them, them bitey ones. You getting bitten? Show us your forehead. How's your forehead holding up? You got one, didn't you? I got one on the helipad, the mosquito helipad. It's either that or the bar, isn't it? Really, let's face it. I got to admit, it is hot doing the fire, and it is hot out there now, isn't it? Mhm. Mm AJ's been for a swim. He's loving being by the water. Oh, he loves it. He loves playing stones. Yeah, so we've been playing stones. It's one of his favourite games. He just throw a little thing. He never catches them, but he just likes to bob his head in and out. And then brings me back a massive stone. I will say we think AJ's a little bit poorly. He keeps eating grass and you say he's constipated. Yeah, I think he's constipated. It's never nice for anybody, is it? So obviously we'll keep an eye on that and it may be our annual European trip to a vet's coming soon. But we've avoided so far the DJI store and a breakdown. So if it's just one trip to the vet's, we will be more than happy, won't touch we? Touch wood. Look, all this wood, touch it all. Mushrooms cooking. Yeah. We're having bun problems. <laughs> What's the problem? Sausage too big for the... Slop. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even cope with you. <laughs> I've got all oh, my ketchup's not coming out properly. Where's my onions gonna go? I don't know. Ketchup's like. So hard to see from the moment we arrive. Cornelia, you are one. Time's been bad. You put smiles on everyone. That is perfection, that is. Thank you. Oh, actually. <laughs> Looks good, right? It does, yeah. I always blow your mind when I do jacket spuds on a barbecue. Blow my mind? Yeah. Have you heard yourself? Why not? Gourmet cooking, that is. Are you going in plain? You don't have nothing on it? That's actually cooked very well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that is fresh. Emily's just had to go back to work for an hour, but she reckons 
She reckons she's coming in, so we'll see, but yeah. It's cold, shh, don't tell her or she won't get in. Whew. Don't have a lot of battery, so you can't fuck it up too right. much. <laughs> I'll do what I want. I don't know about this. Why not? Because I dipped my feet in and it was cold. <laughs> Got in my shoes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> This is actually colder than, than the other one. You reckon? Yeah. You just have to go. That's the I'm easiest way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't be a baby. I've done it. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> you look like midges. What's up with my legs? <laughs> you look like you've got, you look like you've got little legs. What, like yours? <laughs> yours look good in this light. I bet you mine look like tree trunks. You no. just have to go. Oh, no. What about if we go together? No. Yeah? No, I can't miss the bottom, I'll panic. What do you mean you can't see the bottom? It's crystal clear, <laughs> there's the bottom, look. <laughs> you can see your feet, look. You're literally chattering. I am your now, because you're making us stand here still. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh. I don't know why people do it. No, wait a minute. minute, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Three, one, two, three. <laughs> Oh, pop the jam, pop it up. He's taking my breath away. I'm tripping. Ready? We'll no. go together. No, no. Ready? No, I'm not. No. One, two, three, and we'll go together. <laughs> one, two, three, and we'll go together. You can keep saying that. The battery's going to die, and no one will ever know if you've done it or not. I don't, I've done it. <laughs> I'll tell you now I've done it. What? What, what did you just I'm say? I'm talking to the camera, not you. What's in there? No, I said, <laughs> I said, shall I push her? <laughs> Don't. If you push me, I'll take your hat off. I... It's a boat all the way over there. <laughs> it's the world famous sharks of Sweden that live in the lakes. Freshwater sharks of Sweden are coming for you. Louise, you know I get paranoid about things like that. You just have to go. It's the only way. <laughs> It does drop off quite away, so you won't guess. That's be able to... what I mean. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If we go together, you know, you was in the navy, right? You had to pass a swim test, so you can do <laughs> I it. To jump off the board. <laughs> right, wait a minute. I'm just going to go down. Wait a minute. Four minutes fifty. <laughs> we've waited. It says on this camera. <laughs> now you have to go and swim. Because if you're moving. Let me climb. Okay. Okay, you climatize. <laughs> oh my God. You mean <laughs> climatize? <laughs> What did I say? Climatise. That's what I said, climatise. Yeah, right? acclimatise. Acclimatise. Yeah. Acclimatise. Yeah. Acclimatise. Yeah. Okay, right. One, one. <laughs> 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 it takes breath away, doesn't it? <laughs> That's why I can't do because I'm in panic. <laughs> <laughs> you won't, I'm going to come with you. We're going to. The panic's gone up the <laughs> <laughs> Do that again, that's going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> that's the thumbnail. <laughs> well, freeze frame that. <laughs> I don't need to swim. No, it's called wild swimming. <laughs> just... No, you've done a wild dunk. No, it's a wasp. That's off. It's not a wasp. Get it off. <laughs> Get it off. <laughs> Get it off. <laughs> What's it called? It's on the camera. But you need to swim, you should go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Living the dream, folks. <laughs> Living the dream. We're <laughs> a wife who's too scared of water and being attacked by flies. This is it, though. This is what we work really hard for. This is it. This is it, yeah. All right. We're doing a wild walk. Now go, just swim. Ready? <laughs> and swim. As beautiful as it is sitting outside watching what is the closest thing we get to a sunset round here at the minute, isn't it? <laughs> 
what such a weird sunset. <laughs> um, it is lovely out there. However, we've retreated inside because the mosquito situation is quite severe, isn't it? It is. They are. They're like out in force. I'm telling you, I've not seen it like this for a long time. Yeah. Show them my. Can you show them my twat tan? Lift your. Oh yeah. Look. Can you see that? I've been working on my. Been working on my twat tan today, and that is because I had to sacrifice suntan lotion for insect repellent. It was one or the other, wasn't it? Yeah. You did. It's worth the twat tan. The twat tan will stop burning in about a day. The mosquito bites last for about a week, don't they? Oh yeah, it's hot actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm burnt. But anyway, we are gonna get an early-ish one because we're shattered, don't we? Bill, that swimming you done? Oh no, I done so far. Well, this it's ridiculous. It must have been a whole eleven strokes. Oh, I know. Proper took my breath away. I know you've not seen much of summer today, and that is because the minute she hears children, she won't go out of the van because she just doesn't like them does yeah, she? Yeah, no she doesn't. She likes to shy away from them. She knows say. they're going to poke her, squeeze her, stroke her, not leave her alone and she's not that sociable for kids. No. Uh, but she is at the bottom of the bed having a good old wash. Hear a little <laughs> jingling bells. So yeah and then we're probably going to get up really early and move on in the morning because AJ needs a decent walk and mm -hmm. at the minute we just can't walk them because there was about 13, when Summer did go out yesterday there was about 13 mosquitoes on her instantly so Bless yeah. Her. Yeah. Early one, and then early leave. We'll see you lot in the morning. Morning, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, you tell her, Ruth, say, wake up. Buddy. Go away. Good morning. So you may have noticed from the lawnmower that the location has changed just ever so slightly, and that is because. AJ was sick last night, hence why he was getting a nice cuddle in bed this morning. And when I say sick, he was physically sick. And the mosquito situation was so bad, we just couldn't get him out of the van. And he was starting to get a little bit warm and overheating, so we just had to move. So we've come, we just literally found somewhere nearby that we could park where there was no forest or lake, so we could get AJ out of the van. And he is feeling a lot better. Emily's took him off for a wander, and I'm just on coffee duty. Also, I have a top tip for you, a genuine kitchen tip. And this is this is a real tip, this is. So this is called an AeroPress, and we use it mostly for making Emily's posh coffees that she likes, particularly when paired up with Liam the Terrible's coffee, which is very good. I'll leave a link to both in the description, but it also works. I don't know if any of you have ever suffered, in fact, I know some of you have, with the stove top kettles that you boil on the gas, you get like this scummy film and it gets flaky and it gets all manky. And when you pour that in your tea, which I'm very particular about, you get all the crumb in there. If you use the AeroPress with the paper filter in it, it filters all that out and you get lovely smooth clear water. So top kitchen tip there from me. Uh, all right? Yes. How's he doing? All right, he's, he's pooped. Yeah, you pooped again, mate? Good boy, you have a nice big poo, lovely. Eating some more grass. So I think a little bit of no food today, buddy. Maybe some rice and chicken. Yeah, rice and chicken. Because how would you feel if I said no food for you today? <laughs> you wouldn't cope, would you? Mum, you do some rice and chicken, buddy. Don't worry. Oh, now it's just shining on this top bit. Right, <laughs> happy with your forehead now? Yes, it's not so blurring now. We're off to find a campsite. Everything stinks. The van's full of sand. The bed is now full of hair. It, we need to be refreshed and do some washing and just... Zen. And give Fanny a good old oh. clean. <laughs> you knew what was coming before I even said it, didn't you? As soon as, you, as, soon as the word f comes out, that's it, I know. It's annoying. Anyway, we're going to end it there. We will see you all on the next one, which who knows when that will be. And hopefully we'll find some peace and quiet somewhere in the Swedish wilderness for at least two days. 
that'd be lovely and I think I'm really stretching here. I want peace and quiet. I don't want mozzies and I don't want flies. <laughs> and she doesn't want rain, wind or crappy weather or yep. too hot. Or too hot. So our quest for the perfect park up, the perfect van life park up continues. We'll see if we get there. I don't think we will, but <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.